project is to um, augment a car so that a quadriplegic that has no use of his hands or legs can drive the vehicle at a fairly high rate of speed around the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. When it wasn't about making the system, or in this case a car, operate on its own, it was allowing the individual to provide the input to, to control the vehicle. To be able to give somebody back their independence, it, it's very exciting for the company to be able to enable that for somebody. Speechless for once. Really cool. Thank you. We're a partnership with the DOD, that's a large part of our business, and one of the things is that partnership is what can we as a company do by taking the technology that developed with the research laboratory and moving that out into DOD business, but as importantly moving into commercial business to take advantage of the country's investment in that dollar. The design and the philosophy is very important because in, uh, in what we're looking at, it's not to take the human out of the loop, it is to use the machine to augment the human's capabilities to improve that human performance. Sam Schmidt is the driver, he's a quadriplegic, was, was involved in an accident back in January 2000, and uh, he's now paralyzed from the neck down. <laughs> what we're doing is we're providing the signals that allow Sam to actually command the vehicle. We want Sam to be able to drive the car with what he can do and then the question becomes what technology can you put together uh, that establishes that and then how do you take the systems engineering approach to actually making it work together in a safe manner uh, to be able to allow him to be able to do that. Ball's involvement in the project is in the human machine teaming between the operator and the vehicle in this case. We have the background and the ability to do human machine teaming and autonomy and it's the kind of technologies that are needed to do a project like this. To see someone do that, uh, Sam being the first, honestly, the first of all our testing to see him perform like that. So first it takes Sam or someone with his special qualities. I mean, he, he is a race car driver at heart. When you really do sit down and think about it, first you look at Sam. You look at uh, what it means to him, and then you look at what we're going to achieve. Uh, it's a it's an impressive set of objectives. To know, again, that you're a part of that and that you're associated with the company and the people that um, are making those wonderful things happen, it's incredible because you know you're going to see it out there someday and to be able to reflect back and say, gosh, I, I got to be there. Thank you. Seeing the smile on Sam's face is very fulfilling. It's not something that it, typical engineer gets to do often. Awesome experience. We at Ball, we at other technology companies, we're in a position to really apply technology to help people. I'd love to see this transcend back into other folks who have limitations and disabilities to be able to use technology to get them back into their passions and their dreams in life. This is where we're going. All the stuff that comes in is, is computers and people working together to get the best out of both.